Hey guys, what's going on? My name is Michael. Welcome back to another video. If you are new here, go ahead and click that subscribe button and also drop a huge like on this video. Today, I'm talking about my top five features that I wish to see in iOS 13. So these are just based on speculations and based on rumors, except for one of the features in MSA. One of the features has almost been 99% uh, confirmed, but other than that, most of these are just speculation and uh, just my hopes uh, for a more improved version of iOS coming this fall. So we're gonna go ahead and start with number one. It is dark mode. Of course it's dark mode. I don't think the internet can uh, stop talking about dark mode at this point. Um, I've taken a few screenshots here of what the uh, operating system would look like with the dark mode. This is inside settings. This is inside the app store. And uh, here is health. So pretty much any application that has a white or a, a light colored interface is going to look really nice with dark mode. I was able to do this uh, just with an accessibility setting called smart invert colors. And the fact that the uh, UI can look this good with a toggle that is already existent in iOS uh, just says that Apple doesn't have to do that much work to get a dark mode that looks nice in iOS 13. Because you can turn on uh, this feature right now on all of your guys' iPhones and you can get a UI that looks like this. So this looks pretty darn close to a dark mode and Apple only needs to make a few little tweaks to really make it a solid a solid UI on your iPhone. So uh, I don't think they need to do much work and I'm kind of shocked that it took this long to get a dark mode on iOS 13. But this is the one feature, like I said, that has almost been 100% confirmed. Uh, the rest of the features I'm gonna tell you haven't been as confirmed uh, as dark mode. So let's go ahead and move on to number two. So number two is some improvements to iMessage. Now I found a report online saying that iMessage was going to get a few improvements uh, to make it more like WhatsApp. Because WhatsApp, as you may know, has been getting very popular recently. And uh, I think Apple really needs to step up their game and uh, give their customers a few extra enhancements and improvements here and there just to make it a worthy messaging client. So in iOS 13, there are a few rumors that we will be getting a screen name feature. So you can change what your screen name is on iMessage. So if someone enters your phone number or your email, uh, your name will automatically show up instead of just that email or phone number. So this is extremely helpful. Say if you are selling something on Craigslist and you don't know the person's name, it makes it a lot easier when you meet up at the place to sell the item that you know that person's name. You don't particularly have to share your last name. You could just put your first name. Like for me, I would just put Mike as my screen name and that would make it a lot easier for people texting me instead of just showing my phone number. So hopefully Apple can add that. There also is a rumor that the uh, button for Animoji is going to be moving. Now this is a pretty small change, but uh, right now if you wanna send an Animoji, uh, this is just a screenshot, this isn't the actual messages application, but if you wanna send an Animoji, you have to click on the very small Animoji application on the bottom right. My guess is Apple is going to add a hamburger menu on the top right of the messaging application with a much bigger button to access an emojis. So a few little tweaks here and there in the messaging application. Apple always surprises us with features that we weren't expecting. So I guess we'll just have to wait and see, but Apple always makes notable enhancements inside of iMessage. So the next three that I'm gonna show you are from a concept that I found online made by Apple iDesigner. He is a very skilled designer and looking at these renders, it almost looks like he works for Apple himself and uh, people in the Apple design labs uh, made these mockups. They look that good. But the first one is a slightly redesigned lock screen and bringing some Apple Watch features to the iPhone. So as we can see here in this mockup, there is a potential way to change your daily setup on your lock screen. Now there is a video that goes along with this render, so I will link that down below. But uh, this render suggests that we can change our daily setup simply by 3D touching on the wallpaper and switching through different options. As you can see there, it looks like they have uh, multiple setups uh, on that person's iPhone and you can just swipe through them and change which setup you want to have. Now, what does that mean by setup? Because right now you can't really change anything on the lock screen. Well, there are rumors going around that say we might be able to change these buttons on the bottom of the iPhone, if I can get the phone to zoom in here. So if we can change these buttons from camera and flashlight to pretty much anything we want, I think I would have Safari on the right and uh, Twitter on the left-hand side. That would be fantastic. And then that would really give us a way to actually change which lock screen we want to have day by day. This, uh, this rumor also said that we might have the ability to change our status bar. 
So if you go ahead and zoom in here to the top left of this screenshot, you can see that we have the battery percentage on the top right and there is weather on the top left. So if Apple gives us the option to put pretty much whatever information wherever we want on our lock screen, that would really make the lock screen a lot more powerful. This next one is for the iPad. Now this is just one feature I hope is coming to the iPad because it is long overdue. Uh, there are many, many rumors that say the iPad is going to get uh, a huge number of changes, but this is just one of them. So the ability to have multiple users on an iPad, just like you can with a Mac or pretty much any computer, would really, really be an awesome feature because I know a whole bunch of families right now that use a 12.9 inch iPad Pro as the main computer for the household. And if you could have a user for the mom, the dad, and the three kids of the house, they could all share that one iPad and that would be really awesome. So this is just one of the rumored features that we're gonna see uh, for iPad improvements on iOS 13. There are also other features such as multi-window support, external mouse support, and a whole bunch of uh, awesome improvements that we may be seeing uh, coming to the iPad that would really turn the iPad into an actual computer replacement. So many improvements coming to the iPad. I'm crossing my fingers that Apple does not disappoint. And lastly, this mock-up is showing two features and then I'm going to throw in one of my own. So this one is showing the, the ability to close all applications at once. Now I know people have been saying that closing all your applications is not good for the iPhone, but Apple is not going to stop iPhone users from closing out their applications. I still do it almost every hour just out of habit. So I think it's about time Apple adds a button for you to close every application that is running on your iPhone. I think it would be super easy. All they have to do is put a little X button right there. This mockup looks super nice. That's all they need to do. That's all they need to do is add an X button and I am happy. Next up on this render is the option to lock applications. So if we could lock applications in different spots on our home screen, that would really be a game changer. Now, I think this is a fantastic way to do it. You have the delete button on the top left of the application, and then you have a little lock button on the bottom left. So if you lock it in place, it'll stay exactly where it is on the home screen, and you can rearrange different icons around it, and you can have different options to see your wallpaper, and hopefully Apple can add options to view widgets on the home screen as well. And finally, one thing I just want to throw in here at the end, I hope Apple finally fixes the volume heads up display or the volume HUD. I'll show you what it looks like right now. It bugs me so much when I'm changing my volume, I don't need this huge box in the middle of my screen that completely covers whatever I'm watching. So please Apple, get rid of the volume HUD and also add all the other features that I mentioned in this video. But uh, yeah guys, that is my iOS 13 wish list. If you agree with me, tell me in the comments down below. Uh, I'm sure I missed a few things, so tell me in the comments also what you want to see in iOS 13. Other than that guys, thank you so much for watching. My name is Michael, drop a huge like on this video if you enjoyed it, and I'll see you in the next video.